Who's that for? First off, I didn't actually tell them the order, so they're kind of freaking out right now. It's like the large. Oh, Nat Nanton. So I have a blog at natnanton.com, which is a personal growth blog, where my purpose is to inspire and empower moms to kick ass in motherhood and life. <laughs> Okay. The blog has changed me in a bajillion ways, but um, today I choose to share with you how much it has taught me about hats. Hats, yeah. Uh, I'm not a fashion blogger, but uh, I think we've all worn hats at some point in our lives, and many of us aren't even aware of it. A few from my collection that got the most wear and tear were the Obedient Daughter Sunday hat, which I wore on every day of the week when I was growing up. Um, the badass baseball cap that accessorized me in the early 20s. And this one I'm guessing a few of you might know and be familiar with. The Mama Fedora. <laughs> yes, we gotta be careful with this one ladies because uh, it can convince us of some crazy ideas such as, you know, moms don't do any sexy Zumba dancing, we just do the two step because now we have kids, which is ridiculous. Um, and while you can really rock the two-step, if that's your thing, then rock it, but that's, that, that's not my point. The point is, the insanity lies in the hat. Having a blog really shone light on this concept for me, and when I first started blogging, I used perfect grammar, I used no slangs, and I made sure no feathers were ruffled anywhere, and of course, they were all proofread to the death before I hit the publish button. Um, when I launched my uh, Facebook fan page, I was really concerned about my Facebook fans finding out about my personal profile and being absolutely appalled at my inclination to use the word badass in my personal statuses and maybe losing a few likes. Well, at some point I got sick of juggling the multiple person personas online and I finally gathered the guts to use sentence fragments and street talk in my posts. Um, I started writing with my authentic voice and slowly became comfortable with the idea of being who I am online and offline regardless of my company. It's always a guarantee that the posts in which I'm most vulnerable are the most loved and it's only when I'm radically transparent that I'm able to instantly connect with whomever I cross paths with in life. And so now I get it. I believe that people really want to know who you really are. They want to relate to your struggles. They want to cheer you on when you're feeling inadequate. Um, last night I actually posted on my Facebook fan page that I was really nervous about my first public speaking gig. Um, and the love poured in from all over. I got uh, so much support from my family, my friends, and fans that I don't know. And I can't believe I actually hesitated to share that because I was, you know, of appearing weak online. But um, to conclude, what I know now is that nobody can rock the hat hair. And in the words of Pablo Neruda, my obligation is this, online and offline, to be transparent. <laughs>